All right, hey guys, it's me, GSD, Boxer, and I'm back again with some more Undertale. Now we get to continue with the story and... Uh, is that Clam Man? What are you? Anyway, last time we found the Temi Village, we made a new best friend, saw some new stuff, failed a box puzzle, and see, now we're, we're encountering a Clam Man. Oh my god. Oh, K, 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 K. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay. You're at. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yeah. Take a cup of water. Here you go. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Man, just take the damn water. I look so sophisticated. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. We should save. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. So there's a laboratory. Oh, there's the laboratory. And then there's two guards here. Hey, man. Hey. Sorry. Dean like told us there was totally a human in this area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Dean. Okay, well, let's talk to Dean and Papyrus. What? Royal guards are blocking the way? Then I'll tell them to... Well... Nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you. And I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, Alphys showed me these animations about, uh, humans. So I can learn their weaknesses. And one of them is about this human that, uh... Well, suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Surprise? I know your kind's hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defended a human, I must be under some kind of mind control. And to disregard everything I tell them. So sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. Okay, well. Ooh. Oh, you're the one for Hotland, and then that's the cat mode again. I guess we go into the laboratory. Oh no. Whoa. I see an action figure of something. Well, who are you? Are you Alphys? You're Alphys. Oh my god! I didn't expect to show up so soon. Expect you to so show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's so messy and... Um... Hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgard's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um observing your journey through my console. You're right! Your fights, your friends- That's what were the cameras were all about! I was wondering what the cameras were all about. Okay. Your fights, your friendships, everything! I was a bit- I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. No. Well, actually, um, there's a just a tiny issue. A long time ago, ma I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something? Anyway... Recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, 
just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti anti human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human bl blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Bernaton. Uh... But did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties. Today's quiz show. If, oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone, give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before? Gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. <laughs> Metaton attacks. Oh my god, that music. Let me check him out. 999 defense. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh... More questions? Right. Sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. How about I spear you? Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh... Asgore Dreamer? Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh... Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? <laughs> Here's another easy one for you. Two trains training. <laughs> what? Wrong, wrong. Oh, did the time run out? <laughs> the quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? 55. Completely, utterly wrong. The quiz show continues. Oh, I gotta use a, a unicycle. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? It's a frog it. Bam! Oh, you piece of... <laughs> the quiz show continues. Can I cry? I wanna cry. Screaming is against the rules. Can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah! Great answer, I love it. The quiz show continues. What? Screaming is good. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name of the time? Mm, fuck you! Shit. The quiz show continues. I need the heal. You eat one half of the bicycle. Bicycle. I know it says bicycle, I just like saying bicycle. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite? <laughs> In the fourth chapter, she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one that wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the book. It's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, 
You should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to answer. No to answer, bastard. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Uh... The human? Hey, you got a crush on me! Seriously? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this is just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. What the fuck? But, well, that was certainly something. Um, what? Let me check out the dog food. It's a bag of dog food. It's a half... It's half full. Wait! Wait! Let me give you my f phone number. Th then, maybe if you need help, I could... What? Where did you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second. Please. Whoa. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the underground's number one social network. Um, now we are officially friends. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Whoa. Does my item limit increase? No. Dimensional box A, dimensional box B? Oh, oh! Ooh! What? What? Is she on here? She's not on, she didn't give me, hey! You gotta give me digits! It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears? It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes of to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. Okay. Log food is big dog food. It's Hitful. What this? It's a bathroom sign. It's a light switch. Are you okay? Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Give her some privacy. Let's take a look around. No. Where did she go? Is she back here? Where the hell did she go? Is she upstairs? No. We can go in that hole, I assume. But I'm saving that until we explore the rest of this place. Whoa. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Yeah, read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Yes. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. Look inside the book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth? A hideous android? Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. 
pink goop drips from this strange machine. A bucket of... Okay. Kawaii this. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. Mm. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are layers from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed unfolds uh, into an extremely easy to draw box? Oh. Wow. Is that Metaton? It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for coming to make my dreams come true. Where'd Alphys go? I wasn't done making friends with her. The space behind the wall is only a, feet, a few feet wide? Where'd she go? Now I'm upset. I wish I could find her. Love the music in this game, though. I say it all the time, and every time I say it, it's true. Okay, so we're done. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Dean fight the human. Oh. Toriel. Dialing. No, we picked up. Oh, Toriel. Let's call Papyrus and. You're at Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait, no, don't ask any of that. Neither of us know anything about Hotland. So we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. <laughs> Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. Ask her about it later. Alpha's... <laughs> For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Whoa. I rode on a conveyor belt once. I learned pretty fast that they make me sick. Did you hurl? Yeah, like 9,000 times. It was awesome. That music. That music. Oh, battle! Vulcan strolls in. It's so dang cute. Check him out. Or her out. I don't know what it is. I'm a baby volcano thingy. Mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. You hurt? I'll help you. Why? Whoa! Whoa! Why is lava... Vulcan makes a smoke hoop and jumps through it. Uh... Encourage? You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah! Does my best. Vulcan parades around you proudly. There you go. Just a little encouragement. And it's dead. Okay. Alpha update status. Gonna call them in a minute. Cool. Let the conveyor belts do the walk in for me. God damn it, that music! <laughs> so good. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs fills you with determination. This music is filling me with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Laugh my ass off. Why do you hate using the phone? There's a few things here. 
Oh. It's a plane with a bonnet and bunny ears on? Oh. Sundar <laughs> plane <laughs> gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Uh, let's... How do you do... You gotta... You gotta approach them. You get close to Cinder Plane, but not too close. Eh? Hi human? What? Cinder Plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Uh... Flirt? Tell Cinderplane that you like its taste in movies and books. Huh? You, you sicko! What? Oh, I was just about to say this was the easiest one. Smells like an airport perfume counter? Check, Cinderplane. Seems mean, but... Does it secretly like you? No way! Why would I like you? This has, like, three different attacks. Center plane looks over, then turns its nose up. Turns up its nose. Spare. Human! Fuck. 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 Fuck! Smells like an airport. Can I spare? No. Oh, man. Ah, physical. You eat the unicycle. You recover 11. I idiot! Cinder plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Hey, man! No. No! Uh, flirt? Has an impressive wingspan. Huh? huh? You sicko! This is the- oh, yeah, now I know why! It's- ah. Cinder plane accidentally bumps you with its wing. Cinder plane! Goddamn! What the frig? You tell Cinderplane that you like its taste in movies and books, huh? You sicko. Okay, well... I'm sorry. If you feel that way. Approach. You get close to Cinderplane, but not too close. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Cinderplane looks over, then turns its nose up. That was cool, but it kicked my ass. Fuck. Oh, we can fill ourselves with determination. Yes! Saved with determination. Cross with determination. Blah. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Was that DVD in the sewers hers with the claw marks? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Maybe I should go all the way over and check out what's on the other side first before I... Uh, the frying pan. So let's go up. Let's go up first. See what's up here. Uh, hi, hi. So the blue lasers. Um, I mean, Alpha's here. <laughs> hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones. Um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't um move through those ones. Well, uh, bye. Oh my god, I did it! Claws haven't shook like that since Dean called me to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did that she call me? Maybe I should have went the other way. Let's go back. Shit! What? Orange you walk through, blue you don't. Okay. This is a funky area. Let's heal ourselves with determination. 
Yes. And let's go and see what's over there. I saw a frying pan. There's no real point to me you getting it or using it since I'm not trying to hurt nobody. Pyrope bounds towards you. Ugh. What the fuck is this? Check. Pyrope. This mischievous monster is never warm enough. Feel the heat. Excuse me? No! Chuckling through his teeth. Heat it up! You crank up the heat. <laughs> the thermostat pyro begins to get excited. Hot, 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 hotter! Hotter! You gotta go through orange, right? You move through orange, stay still for blue. Pyro wants more heat. Heat it up! Oh my god, I can't even read the text. The room is sweltering. You on, and I can't read, but I think I got 45 gold. Let's see here. Oh, for there? Oh, it changes. So we got the frying pan. There's a frying pan lying on the ground. Will you take it? I can sell it if I need to. Burnt frying pan. Damn it. Stop switching it on me. There we go. Nothing. Okay, great. All right. No, that's not what I want to do. Well, we got it. For my mental a little bit mental well-being, I got it. It would have bothered me if I didn't take it. Shit! Oh no! Ugh. Oh crap! I keep mixing up which one I'm supposed to be doing. What are you? It's a switch. Press it. Yeah. The lasers were deactivated. Thank you. Uh, maybe I should heal with determination. It doesn't make sense. Hopefully they don't turn back on. Okay. Oh, I can put stuff in the dimensional box B. Put the burnt frying pan in there. Let's call somebody. Uh, Papyrus. Steam vents? I think Elvis told me about those. The core cools off by releasing steam through those. And at the same time, it doubles as transport. Pretty cool if you aren't wearing a dress. Oh, true. Cinderplane attacks, not because it's jealous. Vulcan is paying attention to you. Um, I think the Vulcan is easier to deal with. Encourage. Tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become more extreme. Boo, 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 boo. Fuck this! Are you kidding me? Okay, Vulcan, get the fuck out of here. It's not like I like you or anything like that. Okay, Cinderplane looks over, then turns his nose over. Approach. Get closer, Cinderplane, but not too close. Cinderplane looks over, then turns his nose up. Oh, I gotta keep getting closer. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Cinderplane. No more lasers! Huzzah! Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Here, 
The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzle on the right and left. I, I, I think you should go to the left right first. I should go right first. B. These are some cool dudes. Hey, babe. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on the phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Of course, an experienced viewer like me knows CGI when they see it. And that's not even counting me. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Yes, don't explain the puzzle. The cool cat head. What? The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. But I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete the your mission. Oh. Oh. Cool. That was cool. Wow, you solved it. I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bam. What happens if I jump on the down arrow? Nothing really. Okay. Alpha's here. Uh, that blue laser seems totally impassable. But, as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll, I'll hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Ooh. Thank you. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can. Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Wait a second. Ugh. It's summer vacation. Hmm? Nice try, but your loitering technique still needs work. Let me loiter. How's my loitering technique? Okay. There we go. Bam. Awesome. Awesome to the mix. Get back. No. Go up. There we go. Where am I off to now? Office updated status. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Yeah. Mwah. Papyrus! I heard you got to meet Manaton! Really? Careful. That dude gives me bad vibes. Wh what But he's so popular! I don't care about people just because they're popular. Well, you can say that because you're popular. <laughs> what? Popular? With who? You're popular with me! Aw, Papyrus. You're popular with me too. Aw, wowie! Wait. Does that mean you don't care about me? <laughs>
Cell phone. There's no response. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and uh, brighten it up. What? Cooking show? Oh, no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premier working cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone, give them a big hand. Enough clapping. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Sugar, milk, and eggs? I see the three over here. This isn't a show about you washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. Milk, eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They did get cold. I can't escape. Oh yes, MTT brand. Ovens can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Roasting, toasting, burning, charring. You're excited, aren't you, darling? MTT brand microwave. Origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. Give it the eggs. You found the sugar. Found that milk. And the eggs. And the methaton. Great job. Just put them in the middle of the counter. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh. My. Wait, a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We are missing the most important ingredient. Ah, humans. So... Hey man! How about we not do that? Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Well, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan? Uh, well... That's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. I can't, I can't get it. Well, darling, why don't you get it? Why are you doing this to me? Um, is it really a good idea to be getting a snack? Well, I guess I really shouldn't judge you. After all, I'm the one eating potato chips in my PJs. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, go over to the right. Mm, you're gonna get me killed. Oh. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the next item, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I have me. I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. Oh. Cool. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. 
Oh yeah. What's gonna happen? Why is this game so damn cool? How am I supposed to avoid this? I'm in like... <laughs> I'm concentrating so hard right now. Come on! Am I going to fail? I'm gonna fail! I'm gonna fail! Did I make it? I think I made it. My, my, it seems you bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant doctor. Alphys. Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already make the cake ahead of time, so forget it. <sighs> Wait, it didn't seem that high. Wow, uh, we did it. We... we really did it! Great job out there, team. Well, well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Metaton. You so crazy! Give him the milk. It's a specially regular sized sink. I can leave. It's a fridge. It's strangely warm. It's Selfis's fridge again. It's a microwave. That's great if you're a microwave fan. It's an oven. Looks pretty modern. Can I call? Papyrus and Indine. No, I can't. All right. I would like to get human flavored substitute soul. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Oh, I'm filled with. S see that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical and electricity by uh well anyway that's where we're going to go in the core is an elevator directly to asgore's castle and from there you can go home well then let me go and save because we're gonna fill ourselves with determination and we'll continue this next time on undertale so thank you guys. I hope you're enjoying this. I know a few of you are really enjoying it, and thank you for all the tips. This is really making the game even more enjoyable to me. So I will catch you guys next time. Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. We like actually totally have to kill you and stuff.